What's up, fam? Creeps and Peeps. Got an awesome haul video for you today. Just a couple of vinyls I got that. So I pre-ordered these back. I want to say sometime last year. Because I pre-ordered them. I thought I pre-ordered them. And then I saw they were getting released finally. I messaged one place that was selling them. Asked, you know, if they had my order on file. They said they didn't have an order on file. So I thought maybe I just remembered, thought that I ordered them. Then I didn't. But then it turns out that I got a shipping notification from DriveThru Records. Because apparently I ordered them from DriveThru, not from somebody else. Nevertheless... What we got here is early November for all of this EP. This is originally came out in November of 2002. Now I don't think it's ever been released on vinyl before. I mean, it's got a 2002, 2000, or 2023 copyright on it, but I don't think it was ever issued on vinyl. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I remember buying this from the store. I got this at I think Sam Goody. An independent center in Independence, uh, Missouri. So I went to a Best Buy here in, in my area and opened the park, and they didn't have it. So later on in the evening, I went out to Independent Center with my girlfriend at the time, or something like that. Yeah, I think she's my girlfriend at the time. We ended up finding the CD there. One of my favorite EPs ever is this EP, early November for all of this. So again, I think this is the first time it's ever been released on vinyl. Uh, could be wrong, but I think it is. Otherwise, I probably would have owned it already. Then that was followed up with this EP a couple months later, maybe the following summer of 03, the early November acoustic EP. See how it kind of has, it kind of plays off the same image. Because even on the CD, when you open that up, like it's kind of like a, it folds through and like, I want to say something like uh, the girlfriend disappears, the friend disappears, and she's left with it. You just like that, the way that it tells a story through the, the pamphlet is really cool and, and very. Uh, uh, I, I related a lot to it at the time, but this was really cool. The, this CD is actually like a clear CD, like like a, I'll have to show it to you guys sometime. But I got both these CDs originally when they first came out. This one I think I might have bought at one of the concerts because I have them both signed from the crew. Because so I took this one with me, the CD of course. This one I either bought at the show or brought with me too and got it signed. But I'll throw up images of that here. But this one's not one I've listened to as much. Obviously, it still comes through on shuffle on occasion. It's got a copyright of 05, but that can't be when it originally came out. This definitely was an 02, or definitely an 03 release. Because I met these guys for the first time in 03, and that's when I got them signed. Obviously, you can tell I'm a big fan of these guys. Yeah, all three of these at the same show back in 2022. I think that's when that was. Because that was the one that they... That one you, you bought at the show. That was part of the VIP meet and greet. It's signed. And these we stole from the venue itself. I mean, I stole them from the bathroom. But my daughter asked... We asked for a second one for her. But but uh, again, one of my favorite EPs ever. I'm trying to think of some of my favorite EPs. That's definitely one of my favorite EPs ever. Followed by a band called Celebrity. And their, out, their EP called Sleep. I'll throw an image of it right here. And the last one from this, I have some of the other vinyls that they released in the late 2000s, late and some of the 2010s, some of the newer ones. In fact, we just got the two albums. They just released a new album on vinyl and CD like two weeks ago, I think. And I got two copies of each one of those for my kid and I. Actually, do I have them here? The CD is in the car. Nope, that's our expanded. It's this one. So I don't know if I did a video on this, but this is their newest one. This came out in 2024. Lavender Eco Mix Limited 1100. But I pre ordered these, so I got two copies of this on vinyl, as well as two copies of the CD. So whenever something new comes out, I have to get two copies. For whatever reason, I didn't order two each of these. Usually I'll get two one for me and one for my kid, but. Uh, we did get the reissue of their first album at a show when they did the 20th anniversary show in St. Louis last year in 2023. But So this is 2024's new album, 2002 originally, 2003 originally, and this was 2006. This is The Mother, The Mechanic, and The Path, one of my favorite albums of theirs. Very, very... I don't know, this is almost like their version of The Wall, kind of, I kind of equate it to that. It's three discs... I'm not sure exactly how many vinyls it is, 
again you see here 2026 originally but the cd itself is three discs so one's kind of like regular kind of emo rock the, the mechanics more kind of your run-of-the-mill emo rock the mother disc is kind of more kind of folky acoustic -y, but still really good and then the path is interesting it's a story with like dialogue of two people talking a guy talking to his therapist and he tells the whole story about his life and it has like little musical interludes and bits and pieces and some of these like decoration here there's like an acoustic version of that there's like a regular rock version of it here but but this was i used to listen to this thing like crazy back in the early early 2000s when i was a film projectionist every wednesday night or thursday night mainly thursdays we would get all the new film prints and we'd have to splice them all together for friday mornings you know so it was my routine to listen to pink floyd's the wall both discs as i built film prints and slowly as it kind of grew out of classic rock, started getting into the emo, screamo, pop punk stuff. Uh, this album, years later, of course, since it came out in 06, but 06, 07, 08, this was the album that I listened to, especially The Path. I'd listen to this as my routine, as my ritual, whenever building up film prints. But it's really cool. Anytime actually I find any of these CDs used to like have price books or vintage stock or something like that, I always pick them up and give them away. But this is this is a reissue from this year, or from 2023 at least. But it was actually released on vinyl originally back in 2006. It was just, for whatever reason, I didn't have the money to grab it. So this is one I've always wanted because I love this album. These two I don't think were ever done on vinyl before because I would have bought them back then because everything drive through on vinyl from 2002, 2003 and later I owned. So I forget. I have one or two of the others. Obviously we have the 2003 full-length album. The Room's Too Cold on vinyl that we got at the show. And then I have maybe Imbue or In Currents on vinyl as well. But really, really glad. This kind of ranks up there with the Amber, not Amberlin, uh, the Armor for Sleep first album, Dream to Make Believe, that was never released on vinyl, but I wish it was. And finally, they did 20 years later. So really glad to have this. Really glad to have this. Extremely glad to have this. Of course, for now, they're going to remain in the wrappings because I don't have a vinyl player hooked up, and there's really no point to open them up right now. But, uh, yeah, one of my favorite EPs ever right here. I love this band. Let me know what you guys think. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. See you next time.